talk real quickly about this product called the Commodore 64 Cable Saver. And what it does is a device that plugs in between your Commodore 64 and the power supply. And what it will do is well, it will save your Commodore 64 from burning out, literally, if you have a faulty power supply. It was suggested to me that I check out this gentleman's website. He goes by the name of Ray Carlson. And I went and checked out his website and had some fabulous correspondence with him through email. And he ended up shipping me this cable saver. And he has a few other products on his website that are for sale. And it shipped in this package really nicely uh, packaged. So here's Mr. Carlson's website. It's at personalpages.tds.net forward slash tilde r carlson forward slash. It's kind of an old school website. Uh, it's, it's not obvious from the, the site that you can actually buy products. But if you are interested, you can highlight his email address rcarlson at tds.net <laughs> and uh, he's uh, very gracious and he'll email, email you back right away and you'll be well on your way to getting your product. So here's the image that Mr. Carlson sent me of the available products that he's currently selling. The one that I decided to go with is the one in the middle, the um, Commodore 64 saver cable. It has a built-in fail-safe LED right here. The one on the bottom is a, more, a deluxe version. It's a little bit more expensive. It's $50 plus uh, shipping. Switching back to his website, there's a lot of information available on it. Um, the first link has a whole lot of uh, repairs and articles and schematics and things, uh, how to do various stuff yourself so if you have the technical ability the electronics repair you can go in and do this whole thing yourself um, it's it'd be a great project to do uh, I don't have that skill set so I don't even have uh, paid Mr. Carlson for this cable saver some other things that he works on and products that he has okay so I'm going to demonstrate the use of this cable it's really easy to Do here all you have to do plug your what you normally would plug into your Commodore 64 right there you plug right into one end of your cable saver and then take the other end of that cable saver and plug it directly into your Commodore 64 and then power it on and in normal use the LED does not engage until there is an issue. Let's see. Um, it's up and running, no problem. And now I can rest easy that in the event of a power surge or any kind of catastrophic failure with my power supply brick, that my Commodore 64 will not be dis destroyed because of that. One thing the keen observer may have noticed was that although I'm, I'm using a Commodore 64C, my cable is actually black. And that is because that's what spurred on this whole project because I had an issue with my power brick where it would no longer power properly. It would not power my Commodore 64 II Ultimate cartridge, which is plugged in in the back. So what I did was I went and found another power supply from a Commodore 64 and that it now functions properly and that got me interested in getting this cable saver. So right now I have the, the power supply brick plugged in from a, another Commodore 64 and it's working just fine.